All right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 24th to uh, March 1st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase uh, your reading. So that being said, the side moving into the uh, spread straight away, we do have the moon card here as a topic of your week, followed by the next one, which uh, represents the energies that are feeding and uh, supporting the topic itself. That is going to be a very powerful one, the energy of the devil. Moving to the next one represents uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the uh, page of wands. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that Tarot is offering. Another powerful card into that position and this narrative, we do have the Ten of Swords. Afterwards, it is what kind of impression people are going to have to you, what kind of a, uh, 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 yeah, what kind of opinion they are going to have for you, that is. We do have the King of Pentacles. And the last one here, which uh, represents the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering, that is to be the uh, chariot card. Okay, so, um, well, this week, Virgo, it is the week where you uh, fight and eventually overcome your insecurity and your hesitance, your apprehensiveness of, um, say, taking actions or rather, you know, doing something to improve your own personal circumstances, that is. So uh, let's uh, have a look at this very powerful combo here, the Devil and the uh, Moon card. So the energies are pointing that throughout these, uh, this week, you're going to have all the means, all the resources and all the power in the world to go and do whatever the hell you, you like. Okay, so you can you can do something and you are going to kind of like succeed into it because this is what the devil does it gives you everything you need to get whatever you want you know but after that uh, it's kind of like this 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 energy abates and you have to face you know the consequences of it but the point of the devil it is that throughout this uh, week those energies are going to give you the power to force the circumstances you require or the prerequisites you require in order to achieve a goal of yours you know to or, or how Alistair Crowley for, for example says it to satiate the, the insatiable hunger that you do have so you hung you are hungry for love well just go ahead you know you are with the devil card with the energies of the devil card you are going to be very appealing uh, very sexually driven as well people were just gonna find you so attractive and, and you will be able to kind of like create those circumstances that literally you can have everything you uh, anybody you want okay but uh, that's uh, the thing with the devil that the energies of the devil they are very neutral by nature what I mean is that you can use them to create something good or to really screw yourself around and this is where the apprehensiveness comes about because the the topic itself it is the moon card and these two by the way they form a passive friend and so what happens here is that you're gonna feel this growth of, of, of power within you this growth of uh, ability to outer outcomes and to call shots you know and in generally to have the things exactly the way you want them to have them and um, you will start thinking then well what happens next right and is this thing really for me am i am i supposed to be with this uh, woman for example or am i supposed to be with this man am i supposed to work at that place and am i and etc etc so that itself is going to create a um a, a sense of insecurity, a sense of instability, a big dramas and dilemmas as well are going to be bestowed upon you throughout this week. And uh, it's kind of like it's very uh, natural the people to feel lost. It's kind of like you do have a, a, a great amount of uh, room to grow, say, uh, and to call shots and you don't know what to do with it no different than putting a child on the emperor's throne it's just the child doesn't know what to do with all that power and it's the same thing with you that we do have here now one thing is important to be acknowledged with the moon card all right it is that 
uh, you have to take uh, or you have to involve yourself with whatever circumstances arise throughout the week so say you know you are single the devil it is the uh this card that makes you very appealing through the energies you know and kind of like you are um kind of magnet for sexual drive and this one who approaches you you have to answer to that call this is the moon card because while the moon exerts insecurity vagueness instability and, and it's kind of like it does not give you an idea where this thing is going to it's definitely the thing you have to experience because i will not stop showing it here the moon shows the path that you are walking it is your path definitely it goes however beyond the summit so you can't predict what is going to be the outcome but one way or another now or in the future you will have to experience that situation and so this week it is where you once again have to fight over your insecurity to allow or kind of like to believe in your own personal say power and capabilities to alter your outcomes and just jump into a development now next one here is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome and that is uh, i think i already covered it you know the page of uh, ones here points that is going to be challenging for you to be open for whatever new comes around that is one of the challenges so once something new appears you may have that kind of like hesitance you know uh, and reluctancy to take it because you may not think that you will be able to handle with it while you can handle with it with exceptional flawlessness okay so you don't have to be you should not be afraid to take on new endeavors new relationships new projects new jobs and etc etc you got to be open for everything new and another in the other challenge of the uh, page of wands is one to believe in himself because the page it is yet to be aware what how strong it is on its own accord and that it is your challenge to become aware of how strong you really are and how much you can accomplish on your own throughout uh, this uh, throughout this week and maybe moving forward into the future as well uh next one here is going to be uh the oh and another thing about the page i'm sorry guys uh it kind of points uh, that is to correlation with the moon card here the page may say that a, a very good news is going to come around too good to be true and the challenge is to believe in it once again you are going to be shrouded in mystery what i mean is that the, the circumstances are to be shrouded in mystery and you may think that's a trap you know that's something that it is way too good to be true to take on it to kind of like act on it you know and to take a participation in it so next one here it is uh, the ten of swords gifts and blessings i said another powerful card well you are to be gifted the how can i say it mm, the threshold where you jump into new era of your life being from hesitant and um, kind of like fearful to being determined and fearless now however this gift it does have its um not consequences but uh, conditions okay so in order to unfold this gift around you have to be ready to make irrevo irrevocable decisions and also irreversible actions it can't go without it it can't you can't expect that this transition from being just a passive type into very active one is going to happen on its own accord you have to do a very tough cause here and also kind of like a, a a fearful actions as well that is to be displayed in front of you as the enterprise progresses throughout the week but the point here is that you are to be gifted this transition and uh, just to give you uh, the example being passive in your love life not having a love a love life at all into being very active with a, a very sexually driven relationship and a lot of interactions and all these kind of stuff but you gotta make that irrevocable decision to kind of take the initiative you know and the, and the irreversible action to ask the person for a date ask them for their number and etc etc and, and and same kind of situations are to unfold as well into your uh, career or may unfold into your career so the next one here it is what kind of uh, impression you're going to leave into people around 
that is to be the impression of the King of Pentacles. Uh, not a very good one uh, as looking at these uh, cards here. So people are going to look at you as a very self-absorbed individual. While generous, not exactly willing to make the first step though. Uh, this is a very common property with uh, the uh, King of Pentacles. The, the King of Pentacles does something only if it sees that or, or if it's shown that there will be something in return for them. Okay, so it's like a a, a mutual or, the, or a game of giving and taking. And uh, that is, like I said, not a good one because uh, once again, it does not attract a lot of attention. But also it is a good one because those who are think that you are worth it are those who are going to approach you. And that kind of is going to narrow your uh, your choices here, like we said, with the Ten of Swords. So you don't have to baffle yourself more than you actually have to. All right. And the other thing about the King of Pentacles, which is actually a big bad, especially in terms of relationships, it is that people are going to see you quite satisfied with what you have all right, uh, already. Okay, so those who want to approach you for a relationship, for example, will kind of have the impression that you don't need one at that particular point, that you're quite happy with how your life stands at that particular point. That is another trait of the, um, of the King of Pentacles. And in order for you to kind of like change that impression, once again, irreversible action, make the approach first. And uh, the uh, last one here that we do have, it is the guidance the Tower is offering. And it kind of relates to the whole reading here, the Chariot card, guys. It's going to be a, a, a rather difficult week. Uh, not because you're going to meet any problems uh, and kind of like a devastating circumstances here that are going to make you to uh, work with your back against the wall. It is a difficult week because you have to overcome yourself and you have to kind of like... Uh, Especially for those who lack confidence, they have to overcome that. And this, the um, the chariot card here points that you can definitely do it. That is the guidance that there is nothing in this world that you cannot accomplish that resides within you. And that is also given by the page of one saying how strong you are on your own accord only if you allow yourself to believe in it right so the chariot card here it kind of breeds for a, a triumph over your personal uh, insecurity and hesitance lack of belief that you can be better that you can be more lucrative that you can be more successful that you can be loved and once you do so you are going to be very surprised of how much luck your hard work is going to bring you. Also, the chariot card points that the, that the road to wish fulfillment, it is actually the road where you stray for it without expecting someone else to do it for you. So we're talking about individual work. Um, how do you say it? Sovereignty, independence and uh, so on and so forth. So in other words, whatever you do, you do it based on your personal strengths and capabilities here. And the chariot promises triumph, that, that's all. It's just only thing that you got to do here. Uh, it's do something, okay? Just take an action, make a decision, something like that. Because this week is, uh, in this week, nothing is going to happen to you only if you do nothing about it. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, guys, February 24th to March 1st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website. Um, and uh, as soon as you make your purchase, I will contact you within the next 24 hours, giving you details how the purchase, how the reading, excuse me, is going to take place. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.